good afternoon in the last class we discussed with gradient divergent and curl today i will continue the problems on uh, di gradient divergent and curl the, if v vector is equal to w vector cross r vector prove that curl v vector is equal to 2w vector where w vector is a constant vector let w vector is equal to a1 i vector plus a2 j vector plus a3 k vector uh, this is w vector where a1 a2 a3 are the constant vector you have to find out curl v vector then w vector cross r vector is equal to v vector is given in the problem you can write down w vector cross r vector is equal to determinant i j k a1 a2 a3 x y z you can expand determinant expansion v vector is equal to i vector you can leave the first row and first column a2z minus a3y minus j vector leave the first row and the second column a1z minus a3x plus k vector leave the first row and the third column a1y a1 minus a2x this is v vector now you have to prove that curl v vector is equal to 2w vector now you can find out curl v vector curl v vector is equal to determinant i vector j vector k vector do by do x do by do y do by do z a to z minus a 3 y a 1 z minus a 3 x a 1 y minus a 2 x curl v vector is equal to means del cross vector del cross v vector del cross del cross means it is a differential operator do by do x of i vector plus do by do y j vector plus do by do z of k vector and v vector is already you can find out that you can write uh, in the determinant form now you can expand curl v vector is equal to i vector open the bracket the first row and uh, leave the first row and first column then do by do y of a1y minus a2x if we differentiating partially with respect to y we get a1 similarly minus j vector minus minus of do by do z of a1z minus a3x differentiating partially with respect to z a1z is a1 a3x is 0 then minus into minus plus you get a1 plus a1 similarly minus j vector open the bracket leave the first row and second column do by do x of a1y minus a2x here differentiating partially with respect to x a1y becomes 0 and my you get a minus a2x ax differentiation is 1 minus a2 similarly do by do z of um, a2z minus a3x if a differentiating partially with respect to z a minus a2 remaining minus a2 that is minus a2 minus a2 that can plus k vector leave the first row and third column do by do x of a1z minus a3x if a differentiating partial with respect to x here a1z is 0 minus a3x that is minus a3 then if you differ you can do by do y of differentiating partial with respect to y then minus a3y then minus do by do minus into minus plus a3 now this is you get 2a1 i cap plus 2a2 j cap plus 2a3 k cap to take common a1 i vector plus a2 j vector plus a3 k vector then a1 i vector plus a2 j vector plus a3 k vector can be called as uh, v vector that is minus 2 v vector that is curl v vector is equal to minus 2 v vector this is the required result next if r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector and modulus of r vector is equal to r then prove that r vector divided by r cube is solenoidal that means you have to write the uh, prove that the r vector by r cube is solenoidal means you can find out divergent of divergent of r vector by r cube equal to 0 your intention to prove see here what is given r vector r is equal to modulus of r vector is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square this is given 
r vector is equal to x i vector x i vector plus y vector plus z k vector you can apply the modulus means r vector is it becomes square root of x square plus y square plus z square if you squaring on both sides then r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square squaring on both sides r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square then you can differentiating partially with respect to x if you differentiating partially with respect to x r square differentiation is 2 r into dou r by dou x because r is not a constant r is a function of both x y z then 2 r into dou r by dou x is equal to 2 x 2 and 2 will get cancelled then dou r by dou x is equal to x by r so after finding dou r by dou x is equal to x by r similarly you can find out dou r by dou y is equal to that means differentiating partially with respect to y dou r by dou y is equal to y by r and dou r by dou z is equal to z by r so after we have finding dou r by dou x x by r similarly differentiating partially with respect to y you can forget dou r by dou y is equal to y by r and dou r by dou z is equal to z by r now you, uh, you uh, our intention is to prove that divergent of r vector by r cube is equal to zero that means divergent of r vector r cube means divergent of r vector by r cube this is equal to divergent of r cube we can transfer to upward it is r to the power of minus 3 into r vector this is equal to divergent of r to the power of minus 3 r vector you know r vector is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector r vector is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector now can multiplying this divergent of r to the power of minus 3 x into i vector plus r to the power of minus 3 y j vector plus r to the power of minus 3 z k vector this is divergent of then divergent of now you can apply the formula what you get this is equal to dou by dou x of r to the power of minus 3 x into i vector plus dou by dou y of there is no i cap dou, dou by dou x of r to the power of minus 3 x then dou by dou y of r to the power of minus 3 z then dou by dou z of dou by dou z of r to the power of minus 3 this is y sorry this is y this is z you know already dou r by dou x is equal to x by r dou r by dou y is equal to y by r then dou r by dou z is equal to z by r this is already we are uh, find out so now here differentiating partially with respect to x this term here differentiating partially with respect to y this is differentiating partially with respect to z then what do you get if differentiating partially with respect to x what do you get this is equal to product of two function r to the power of minus 3 into x differentiation is 1 r to the power of minus 3 is constant x differentiation is 1 plus here x is constant r to the power of minus 3 differentiating partially with respect to x is minus 3 into r to the power of minus 4 into dou r by dou x next plus second term if differentiating partially with respect to y then r to the power of minus 3 is constant y differentiation is 1 plus y into r to the power of minus 3 differentiation is minus 3 into r to the power of minus 4 into dou r by dou y similarly can differentiating partially with respect to z in the sec third term what you get here r to the power of minus 3 z differentiation is 1 plus uh, minus 3 into r to the power of minus 4 into dou r by dou z so here after differentiating so here, here dou r by dou x value you know x by r dou r by dou y value is y by r dou r by dou z value is z by r you have to substitute in this equation this is equal to r to the power of minus 3 minus x into 3 r to the power of minus 4 dou r by dou x value is x by r plus r to the power of minus 3 minus 3 into y r to the power of minus what dou, dou r by dou y value is y by r plus r to the power of minus 3 here minus 3 into r to the power of minus 4 into z z then dou r by dou r by dou z value is z by r 
So, after substituting dou r by dou x value is x by r, dou r by dou y value is y by r, dou r by dou z value is z by r, you can substitute what you get here, here r to the power of minus 3, here also r to the power of minus 3, here also r to the power of minus 3, if you are adding, you get 3 r to the power of minus 3, r to the power of minus 3, r to the power of minus 3, r to the power of minus 3 is 3 r to the power of minus 3, here you can take common minus 3, here 1 by r is r to the power of minus 1, that is r to the power of minus y, 1 by r to the power of minus y, 1 by r is r to the power of minus, r to the power of minus y, 3 r to the power of minus y take common, remaining is x into x x squared, here y into y squared plus z into z squared. Here you have taken the common minus 3 r to the power of minus y, you have taken common entire the, the term, then remaining is x square plus y square plus z square. Then already know x square plus y square plus z square is r squared. This is equal to 3 r to the power of minus 3 minus 3 r to the power of minus y r squared. Then 3 r to the power of minus 3, here 3 r to the power of minus 3, you get 0, divergent of r vector by r cube equal to 0, hence it is solenoidal. Next, if r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector, and modulus of r vector is equal to r, then prove that divergent of r cube into r vector. Now, you have to write first uh, divergent of r cube by r vector means divergent of divergent of r cube into r vector means divergent of r vector r cube r vector is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. This is equal to divergent of r cube into x i vector, r cube into y j vector plus r cube into z k vector. See now divergent of r cube into x i vector plus r cube into y j vector plus r cube into z k vector can be written as dou by dou x of r to the power of 3, r to the power of 3 into x plus dou by dou y of r cube into y plus dou by dou z of r cube into z. So, here what is given in the problem? r vector, r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector, then modulus of r vector is equal to r, you can apply the modulus of r vector, modulus of r vector, this equation becomes x square plus y square plus z square. Then the given problem, modulus of r vector is equal to r, you can substitute here, then r is equal to modulus of r vector equal to this, then squaring on both sides, then r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Now, differentiating partially with respect to x comma y and z separately, then r square differentiation is 2r into dou r by dou x is equal to x square difference 2x, y square is 0, z square is 0. Then 2 and 2 will get cancelled, then dou r by dou x is equal to x by r. Similarly, dou r by dou y is equal to y by r then dou r by dou z is equal to z by r. You have to find out by using r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. Now, you have to dou by dou x of r cube into x, you can differentiating partially with respect to x this term, it is a product of two function, this is equal to r cube is constant, x differentiation is 1 plus x into r cube differentiation is 3 into r square into dou r by dou x. See so, now again second term, dou by dou y of r cube into y means r cube is constant, differentiating of y is 1 plus y into r cube differentiation is 3 into r square dou r by dou y. Next plus r cube here differentiating partially with respect to z, r cube is constant and differentiating partially with respect to z is 1 plus z into r cube differentiation is 3 into r square dou r by dou z. So, after differentiating this three term, here r cube is there, 
here also R cube is there, here also R cube is there, you can adding, you get 3 R cube. Then remaining is, you know, dou R by dou X value, you can substitute, dou R by dou X value is X square, what you get plus X into 3 R squared, X by R plus uh, Y into 3 R squared, dou R by dou Y value is Y by R plus R cube, uh, Z into 3 R squared, dou R by dou Z is Z by R. Now, this is equal to 3 R cube plus here 1 by R can be written as R to the power of 1 by R can be written as uh, R to the power of minus 1, R to the power of minus 1, R to the power of 2 is R to the power of R, then what you get here 3 R take common, remaining is X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared, because here 1 by R is R to the power of minus 1, R to the power of 2 is you get R. Similarly, R to the power of minus 1, R squared is R. R to the power of minus 1, R to the power of 2 is R. 3 R you can take common remaining is X into X squared, Y into Y squared plus Z into Z squared. Now, this is equal to 3 R cube plus 3 into R, X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared is R squared already you know. This is equal to 6 R cube. This is the required result. Next find del squared r to the power of n, find del squared r to the power of n, where r is equal to modulus of x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector and further show that it is equal to 0 if n is equal to minus 1. So, now you have to find out del squared r to the power of n. del squared r to the power of n means del squared r to the power of n means dou squared by dou x squared r to the power of n plus dou squared by dou y squared r to the power of n plus dou squared by dou z squared r to the power of n. So, now first you can find out dou squared by dou x squared of r to the power of n. See here, dou squared first you can uh, differentiating partial with respect to two times. See here, dou by dou x of r to the power of n first, dou by dou x of r to the power of n. If you differentiating partial with respect to x, what do you get? n into r to the power of n minus 1 into dou r by dou x. See here, already know, r is equal to modulus of uh, x i vector. What is given in the problem? R vector, R vector is equal to modulus, R vector is equal to modulus of x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. Then modulus means this becomes square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Now, squaring on both sides, R square is equal to x square squaring on both sides, R squared is equal to X square plus Y square plus Z square. If you differentiating partial with respect to X comma Y comma Z, if you differentiating partial with respect to X is R square differentiation is 2 R into dou R by dou X, X square difference 2 X and Y square is 0, Z square is 0, 2 and 2 will get cancelled, then dou R by dou X is equal to X by R. Then similarly, dou R by dou Y is equal to Y by R, dou R by dou Z is equal to Z by R. Now, here dou R by dou X value, you know X by R you can substitute here. The what you get this is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 1 x by r dou r by dou x value is x by r. See here now this can be written as 1 by r is r to the power of minus 1 and r to the power of n minus 1 can be written as r to the power of n minus 2. This is equal to n into x into r to the power of n minus 2. This is dou by dou x of r to the power of n value. Similarly, you can find out again differentiating partial with respect to x because you want dou squared by dou x squared r to the power of n. If you differentiating partial with respect to x, dou squared by dou x squared is equal to r to the power of n. Here n is constant take outside. Here is a product of two function. X r to the power of n minus 2 into x differentiation is 1. r to the power of n minus 2 is constant and x differentiation is 1 plus x into r to the power of n minus 2 differentiation is n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 3 into dou r by dou x. Here, 
this product n is constant take outside is a product of two function r to the power of n minus 2 dx differentiation is 1 plus x into r to the power of n minus 2 differentiation is n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 2 into dou r by dou x. Now again you know dou r by dou x value is x by r you can substitute in this equations this is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus x into n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 3 into x by r you can substitute in place of door by door x is x by r this is equal to you can multiply this n n into r to the power of n minus 2 then here plus n into n minus 2 this n into n minus 2 here r to the power of n minus 3 1 by r can be written as r to the power of minus 1 r to the power of n minus 4 x into x squared this is dou squared by dou x squared r to the power of n value is n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 r to the power of n minus 4 into x squared. So, here similarly you can differentiating similarly you can differentiating partially with respect to y what you get if you similarly you can write it dou squared by dou y squared into r to the power of n is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 r to the power of n minus 1 in place of x you can write y squared in place of x you can write y squared similarly you can differentiating partially with respect to dou squared by dou z square r to the power of n is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 r to the power of n minus 4 z square. So, after getting these three equation now you know del squared r to the power of n we can substitute in these equations what do you get del squared r to the power of n equals dou squared by dou x squared r to the power of n value is n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 x squared n into n minus 2 x squared r to the power of n minus 4 this is the value of dou squared by dou x squared r to the power of n plus then dou squared by dou y squared r to the power of n value is n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 y squared r to the power of n minus 4 plus dou squared by dou squared r to the power of n value is n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 z square r to the power of n minus 4. So, after substituting these values this equals here here also n into r to the power of n minus 2 here also n into r to the power of my n minus 2 here also n into r to the power of n minus 2 you can um, uh, adding 3 n r to the power of n minus 2 here first term n r to the power of n minus 2 and this term and this term if you adding you get 3 n into r to the power of n minus 2 next remaining is n into n minus 2 r to the power of n minus 2 take common all the term containing same see so here here also n into uh, n minus 2 r to the power of n here also n into n minus 2 r to the power of here also n into n minus 2 r to the power of n minus 4 take common remaining is x square plus y square plus z square remaining is x square plus y square plus z square now you can simplify it what you get here 3 n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus here you know x square plus y square plus z square is r square you know you can substitute r square then what you get n into n minus 2 r to the power of n minus 4 into r square this can be rewritten as 3 n into r to the power of n minus 2 plus here n into n minus 2 r square and r to the power of n minus 4 is r to the power of n minus 2 then here also n into n minus n into r to the power of n minus 2 here also n into r to the power of n minus 2 if you take common this is equal to n into r to the power of n minus 2 if you take common remaining is, is 3 here plus n minus 2 now this equals this equals n into r to the power of n minus 2 n 3 minus 2 is plus 1 the given condition is if 
n equal to minus 1, then del square r to the power of n equal to 0. This is equal to 0 if n equal to minus 1 means n into r to the power of n minus 2 minus 1 plus 1, this is equal to 0, this is the required result. Next, if r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector, then show that first problem is gradient of 1 by r vector is equal to minus r vector divided by modulus of r vector whole cube. Second problem is gradient of modulus of r vector uh, whole cube is equal to 3 into modulus of r vector into r vector. See here, here first you can find out gradient of 1 by r vector. Gradient means gradient means gradient of 1 by modulus of r vector is equal to dou by dou x of 1 by modulus of r vector into i cap, dou by dou y of 1 by modulus of r vector into j cap, then dou by dou z of 1 by modulus of r vector into k cap. This is the gradient of 1 by r vector, 1 by modulus of r vector. Then what is given? r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector means r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. Then you can apply the modulus, modulus of r vector is equal to modulus of x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector means square root of x square plus y square plus z square squaring on both sides r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square then uh, differentiating partially with respect to x comma y comma z separately if you differentiating partially with respect to x r square differentiation is 2 r into dou r by dou x is equal to x square difference 2 x y square is 0 z square is 0 then dou r by dou x is equal to x by r similarly dou r by dou y is equal to y by r and dou r by dou z is equal to z by r then after getting this now you come to here then gradient of 1 by modulus of r vector means you can differentiating partially with respect to x before differentiating then what you get 1 by modulus of r vector 1 by modulus of r vector means See here, this is equal to dou by dou x of modulus of r vector. What is modulus of r vector means? See here, here modulus of r vector is square, square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Then what do you get? If you transfer to upward, it is a modulus of r vector is, this is x i vector, x square plus y square plus z square. Then it becomes off, that becomes x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus of you can write 1 by r vector means x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus of because see here r vector is given x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector means modulus of r vector means square root of x square plus y square plus z square this becomes x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of half this can be written as whole to the power of half then it is 1 by r means you can transfer to upward it becomes whole to the power of minus half then similarly you can write similarly you can write plus dou by dou y of 1 by modulus of r vector means x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus of j vector next plus dou by dou z of x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus of into k vector. See and now you have to differentiating partially with respect to x what do you get? If you differentiating partially with respect to x what do you get here? This is equal to minus 1 by 2 x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus 1 is you get minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 here x square plus y square to the power of minus 3 by 2 into x square differentiation is 2x and y square is 0 and z square is 0. Next plus into i vector plus here minus 1 by 2 x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 x square is 0 y square is 2z 2y z square is because you are differentiating partially with respect to y. Next plus minus 1 by 2 x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 x square is 0 y square is z square is 2z. Here 
2 and 2 will get cancel here also 2 and 2 will get cancel here and here 2 and 2 will get cancel remaining is what you get minus x this x into x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 into i cap next minus y into x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 next minus z into x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2. So, here after getting here x square plus y square plus z square whole of minus 3 by 2 here x squared plus y squared plus z over to the power of minus 3 by 2 into i cap and i cap j cap and k cap. So, here x square plus y square plus z square you know x square plus y square plus z square can be written as r squared can be written as r squared r x square plus this if you take the modulus what do you get modulus of r vector what is given modulus of r vector this can be written as this is equal to minus minus x into this x as it is x square plus y square plus z square can be written as modulus of r whole square modulus of r whole square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 this x square plus y square plus z square nothing but is modulus of r square then here minus into i cap minus y into here modulus of r vector whole no whole square whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 minus z into modulus of r vector whole to the power of 2 whole to the power of minus 3 by 2 into k vector. So, here this is equal to here 2 or 2 will get cancel here 2 and 2 will get cancel here 2 and 2 will get cancel modulus of r vector whole to the power of minus 3 can take common remaining is minus also take outside x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap then x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is r vector this is equal to minus modulus of r vector modulus of r vector whole to the power of minus 3 into r vector this is equal to minus r vector modulus of r vector whole to the power of minus 3 can be written as 1 by modulus of r cube this is the required result first one then what is the second one you have to prove that you have to prove that what do you get gradient of r to the power gradient of modulus of r vector cube you have to prove that see here gradient of modulus of r vector cube you have to prove that modulus of r vector cube you have to prove that this can be written as dou by dou x of modulus of r vector cube i vector dou by dou y of modulus of r vector cube j vector plus dou by dou z of modulus of r vector cube you have to prove that. Same thing here what is given r is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector then uh, r is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is given then you can apply the modulus what you get if the modulus is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square this is equal to x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of of right then r square if you squaring on both sides r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square then differentiating partial with respect to x comma y comma z then if you differentiating partial with respect to x is 2 r into dou r by dou x is equal to 2 x 2 and 2 will get cancel dou r by dou x is equal to x by r and dou r by dou y is equal to y by r and dou r by dou z is equal to z by r. Now, you have to prove that modulus of uh, r vector cube then we can differentiating before differentiating what is modulus of r vector outright it gradient of modulus of r vector cube here dou by dou x of modulus of here modulus of r mean you can cubic on both sides what you get modulus of r vector cube is equal to x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of 3 by 2 then modulus of r vector cube value is x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of 3 by 2 you can substitute here dou by dou x of x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of 3 by 2 into i cap plus dou by dou y of 
x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of 3 by 2 j cap plus dou by dou z of x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of 3 by 2 into k cap. Now, you can differentiating partially with respect to x comma y comma z. See here what you get if you differentiating dou by dou x of what you get differentiating partially with respect to x means 3 by this is equal to 3 by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square 3 by 2 minus 1 3 by 2 minus 1 is whole to the power what you get 3 by 2 x 3 by 2 minus 1 you get minus 2 you get um, of 1 by 2 into x square differential is 2x into i cap. Next plus again this differentiating partial with respect to y is 3 by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of of into 2x 2y into j cap plus 3 by 2 into x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of of into 2z into k vector. Here 2 and 2 will get cancel, here 2 and 2 will get cancel, here 2 and 2 will get cancel. This is equal to what you get here uh, x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of of if it uh, what you get x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of half into i. You can take common x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of half. You take common what you get because here also same thing, here also same thing, here also same thing. You can take 3 x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of half. What is the remaining term is x i cap plus y j vector plus z k vector. Sir, what is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector? x i vectors here this is equal to 3 into x square plus y square plus z square whole to the power of half can be written as modulus of r vector. Then you can in place of this you can substitute modulus of r vector. Then x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is already r vector this is r vector. This is equal to 3 into modulus of r vector into r vector we have proved. Next if a vector and b vector are two irrotational vector function. Then prove that a vector cross b vector is solenoidal. That means you know the identity divergent of a vector cross b vector is equal to b vector dot curl a vector minus a vector dot curl b vector. Since a and b vector are irrotational, irrotational means hence curl of a equal to 0 and curl of b equal to 0 then divergent of a vector cross b vector equal to 0 hence a vector cross b vector is solenoidal. Next state the condition under which a function state the condition under which a vector function is irrotational and when it is solenoidal prove that f vector is equal to sin y plus z into i vector plus x into cos y minus z into j vector plus x minus y into k vector is irrotational. g vector is equal to x plus 3y into i vector plus y minus 2z into j vector uh, plus x minus 2z into k vector is solenoidal. Now, oh, the state the condition means you have to uh, state the condition. The function f vector the function f factor is irrotational if curl f factor equal to 0 and is solenoidal if divergent of f factor, f factor equal to 0. Divergent of f factor equal to 0 is called the solenoidal and curl of f factor equal to 0 is called the irrotational. Now, first you can find out f factor is equal to the given f factor is irrotational you have to show that. So, here irrotational means what is the given function f factor can be written as f factor is f factor is equal to sin y plus sin y plus z into i vector plus x cos y minus z into j vector plus x minus y into k vector. Sir, 
this is the given function f factor. Now, we have to show that irrotation means we know that del, del is called a differential operator dou by dou x of i vector, dou by dou y of j vector, dou by dou z of k vector. <coughs> this is the differential operator. Now, you can take the cross product from these two functions, what you get del cross f factor is equal to determinant. This is i vector, this is j vector, this is k vector. Then you can write dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z. <coughs> See here f 1, this is this can be taken as f 1, f 2, f 3 component. F 1 is sin y plus z, next x cos y minus z, next x minus y, this is the F 1, F 2, F 3, F 1 component is i component, F 2 is j component, F 3 is k component. Now, you have to uh, my expanded determinant expand, this is plus minus plus i vector, open the bracket, you can leave the first row and first column dou by dou y of dou by dou y of x minus y minus of dou by dou z of x into cos y minus z, this is i cap. Next minus j vector, you can leave the first row and second column dou by dou x of x minus y minus dou by dou y of sin y plus z. Next plus k vector, open the way, leave the first row and third column, then dou by dou x of x cos y minus z minus of dou by dou y of sin y plus z. So, now, the i vector you can write as it is, you can dou by dou y differentiating partially with respect to y is x is 0, minus y is minus 1. Here this minus, if you differentiating partially with respect to z is what you get here, x y cos y is 0, minus z is minus 1, this is minus into minus plus 1. Next, minus j vector, you can leave the for this is dou by dou x differentiating partially with respect to x is x minus y, x is 1 minus y is 0 that is 1, this minus differentiating partially with respect to y is sin y, sin y differentiation is sin y, di, sin y differentiation is you get cos y. Sir, this is dou z, this is dou z, if you differentiating partially with respect to z is you get 1. Next plus k vector, you can dou by dou x of differentiating partially with respect to x, differentiating partially with respect to x is cos y is constant, x differentiation is 1, z also 0 minus dou by the differentiating partially with respect to y, sin y differentiation is cos y. See here, here minus 1 plus 1 is 0, this will get cancelled, plus 1 minus 1 cos y minus y cos y equal to get cancelled, you get 0, hence it is irrotational because the given function f factor is 0, the curl f factor equal to 0, hence it is irrotational. Next, the another term is divergent of f factor is solenoidal, I have to show that, what is the uh, for problem g vector, g vector equals g vector equals x plus 3y into i cap plus y minus 2z into j cap plus x minus 2y, x minus 2z, x minus 2z into k cap is solenoidal. Solenoidal means you have to show that divergent of g vector is equal to 0. See here divergent of g vector means, what is the divergent of g vector? The formula is there, D divergent of g vector is equal to dou by dou x of g 1 plus dou by dou y of g 2 plus dou by dou z of g 3. See here, here g 1 is the component, g 1 is i component, g 2 is j component, g 3 is k component. Now, you can substitute dou by dou x of x plus 3y plus dou by dou y of y minus 2z plus dou by dou z of x minus 2z. So, here if you differentiating partially with respect to x, here x differentiation is 1, 3y differentiation is 0, this is 0 plus if you differentiating partially with respect to y is 1 minus 0 
plus differentiating for chill with respect to z, z minus 2, this is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 2 equal to 0. This is the given g function is solenoidal because divergent of f divergent of g vector equal to 0. So, next find curl effector is equal to yeah, curl f, find curl effector where f vector is equal to x by r i vector plus y by r j vector plus z by r k vector and r vector is equal to modulus of x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. So, now what is you have to find out curl effector, curl effector then f vector equals f vector equals x by r into i cap y by r j cap z by r k cap right you have to find out curl effector means you have to know that del del is equal to differential operator dou by dou x of i vector dou by dou y of j vector dou by dou z of k vector now you have to find out the curl effector means del cross del cross f vector is equal to determinant i vector j vector k vector then dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z then f1 component is x by r y by r z by r now this is your to expand determinant expansion plus minus plus this is equal to what you get i vector we leave the first row and first column dou by dou y of z by r minus dou by dou z of y by r next minus j vector you can leave the first row second column then dou by dou x of dou by dou x of z by r next dou by dou z of x by r next plus k vector you can leave the first row and third column then dou by dou x of y by r next minus dou by dou y of x by r this is the expansion now you have to differentiating partial with respect to y this term before differentiating this you have to know that what is dou r by dou x value and dou r by dou y value and dou r by dou z so here what is given r is equal to modulus of x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector then r is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus z square this modulus of x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector can be written as x square root square root of x square plus y square plus z square then squaring on both sides r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square then differentiating partially with respect to x then 2 r into dou r by dou x is equal to 2 x 2 and 2 will get cancelled dou r by dou x is equal to x by r similarly dou r by dou y is equal to y by r then dou r by dou z is equal to z by r after getting this value now you can differentiating partially with respect to y this term if you differentiating partially with respect to y what you get here i into so differentiating partially with respect to y here is a quotient rule quotient rule means you get r squared quotient rule r squared is equal to so here this is equal to i vector open the bracket r squared r into z difference 0 minus z into r differentiation is dou r by dou y this is dou r by dou. similarly minus this term differentiation is with respect to z here r squared into r into 0 minus y into dou r by dou z this is the first term differentiation next second term minus psi minus i minus j vector open the bracket here dou by dou differentiating partial with respect to x means this is or u by u method r squared r squared into r into 0 minus z into what you get dou r by dou x minus here r squared again r into 0 minus x into dou r by dou z next plus plus k vector you can uh, uh, differentiate with respect to x r squared then r into 0 minus y into dou r by dou x minus here r squared into r into 0 minus x into dou r by dou y. So, after getting that after 
differentiating partially with respect to this term, then what I get this C is equal to I vector. Here, dou r by dou y value is dou r by dou is y by r, that is y z minus z y by r cube, because 1 by r is r squared is r cube. Here, dou r by dou z value is z value minus z y by r cube. Next, minus j vector, minus j vector is equal to here z z into uh, dou r by dou x is z x by r cube minus here x y dou r by dou z, this is dou r by dou z, then is, is z x divided by r cube plus k vector here minus x y divided by r cube, here minus, here what you get x z, this is y, x y divided by r cube. See here, minus z y r cube, here uh, this is minus, this is minus, this minus into minus become plus, this is plus, this is plus. Then what you get here, this and this will get cancel, this and this will get cancel, this and this will get cancel equal to 0. Hence, it is, so here if you R by cur curl effector value, curl effector equal to 0, this is curl effector equal to 0. Then, this is the value when equal to 0, curl effector equal to 0. So, here, any question please? If you ask any question through email also, thank you.